welcome to another video. This video is going to be really fun because one, hi mama, it's so me. Do you know everyone loves videos that you're in? So I hope you guys appreciate this. And two, we're going to be taste testing food. If you guys, you guys know, I get Goodness Me boxes each month from Goodness Me box and I've been getting them for over a year now, I realize. So basically every month I get sent a box on my doorstep of a whole bunch of new healthy goodies to try and I love getting the Goodness Me boxes. Um, and I love throwing them out. Because it's a lot of boxes. She means empty boxes. Yeah. Not packaging. Yeah. Sorry if I, you know, how it goes when I make mistakes, I just repeat sentences. So that's why if I just start saying a sentence. Anyway, um, yeah, I found a lot of, I've discovered a lot of healthy um, snacks that I enjoy. So I rate getting the goodness me boxes. Ones I love on my, shut up. <laughs> anyway, let's just get to it. Basically, they reached out to me and said, would you like to collab and get a voucher to get heaps of stuff from the goodness me shop website to do a taste test haul? And I was like, heck yes. So oh, I. She doesn't say heck. <laughs> yeah, What do I say then? Yeah. <laughs> shit yeah. <laughs> shit yeah. yeah. I was like shit yeah. So um. <laughs> Much better. So I went on their website. They have thousands of things. So it took me like a long time because I made sure I went through every single page so I could make sure I wasn't missing out on anything. And we're gonna try it all now. I need the scissors. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. we're gonna break those okay. nails, sister. <laughs> Oh, there's a bonus gift. I didn't think they'd put it in there. Look how packed this is. And there's actually that much stuff in here. I feel like you're like regretting this now, right? Mom. Oh my gosh, yes. I got protein. You're gonna hate me because I have so much protein in the cupboard. I'm really excited to try this. Plus, I have a few things that I haven't tried from Goodness Me boxes that I decided to save to try in this video. Oh. We're gonna have to take a thumbnail. Hang on, I'm so sorry, mom. <laughs> what are you doing? Taking a thumbnail, we just have to smile and I take a screenshot. Oh, <laughs> um, not long, just like so I can take a screenshot of it. Should we do like a different... Um... So we have like a lot of crisp type things. There's some protein bars. Okay, so this is Carmen's Muesli, which I actually just got in a goodness me box. I didn't order this one online. So it's oats, seeds, there's macadamias, and then there's like dried fruit, raspberry flavor, and natural vanilla flavor. What are you most excited to try out of everything here? Mm. Cauliflower chips. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'll pick it up. Also, I thought of a scale that we need to make. Right, right. Hang on. Very raspberry. Yeah. Mm. I, I, it's a bit too raspberry. Mm. Everything we do, we need to rank on a scale of one to ten, and I came up with a word for each number. Mm. So, I mean, zero to ten. Zero is disgusting. 10 is like food gasm, like the best thing it could taste. 9 is like absolutely delicious, but not like the most amazing mm -hmm. thing ever. 1 is like yuck, so it's disgusting, then yuck. 5 is like average, like it's just in the middle. 6 is like good. Okay, let's make it good. So are you giving it a 6? Yeah. So it's only one above average. Well, it's, yeah. Well, but it doesn't rate to the 7. What was your 7 word? I need to write these down to remember. Oh, did I say my discount code, by the way? Mm -mm. Okay, I should probably insert that here. Mm -hmm. I have a discount code that's going to be 48 hours on Goodness Me Shop, which is just image in capital letters for 15% off. And it's free shipping over $75. Also, I have a discount code for Goodness Me Box, which I'm pretty sure is Imogen 10. I'll link all of it in the description box below. Goodness Me Shop is a bit different than Goodness Me Box, where you can just go and order anything that you like. Whereas Goodness Me Box, you don't know what you're going to get each month. So for example, if I get a Goodness Me Box and there's a protein bar in it and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love it. I want to go buy this protein bar. Then I can go on Goodness Me Shop and I can buy like a bulk lot of those protein bars. Okay, so zero is disgusting. Eight is delicious. Nine is amazing. Ten is foodgasm. Anyway, okay, what do you give this out of ten? Mm. I think I'm gonna give it seven. Look okay, yummy. Nice. But then yeah, maybe a nice. I'm gonna go with nice as well. Six. Six out of ten. That was the Carmen Macadamia and Raspberry 
muesli. Okay, I'm keen to try this. Roasted almond salt and vinegar. There's minimal ingredients in this. It's just <laughs> almonds, apple cider vinegar, and pink Himalayan salt. So it's like a healthy um, salt and vinegar almond. Ooh, I'm excited for these. Okay. It's very subtle. Mm. Mm. It's nice. It's not overpowering. I like it. I like it. But you can't really taste the almonds. I can a little bit. A little bit? No. I'd give it a little. I'm giving that an 8. I like that a lot. I'd give that a nice too. you got to say the number. Oh, mm. 6. 6. Um, 8. That is really good. Mum's a bit of a critic, by the way, so she's going to be harsh. Mm -hmm. I've been wanting to try these um, chickpea twists. Mm. So it's literally three ingredients. It's chickpea flour, sunflower oil, and sea salt. And this is one serve, this little chip pack. 59 calories in it. Easy to tiny. Ooh. It's not going to focus, but it looks like, it looks like this. Mm. It's oh. very chickpea-ish. Mm. Which I kind of like. I like it. Like there's no flavour, it's just chickpea. Mm. Mm. That's not, I'll give that a nine. Wow, this is not better than the um, salt and vinegar almonds. Oh, I, I like it better than the salt and vinegar almonds. I gave this an eight. Mm. Give it a 6.5. Oh, okay. Let's do cauliflower chips that you want to try. I got two different types of cauliflower. So cauliflower puffs, which I love. And I've had these before, but not in this flavor. Chili lime flavor. So basically it's the cauliflower, but there's also chili, lime extract, vinegar powder, garlic powder, and sea salt. And then I also got cauliflower chips, just in sea salt flavor. And these have three ingredients. Bag of air. I'm gonna be crushed. Oh, so it's like actual oh, looks wow. like cauliflower. Floret. I like it. It tastes like vegetable dried mm. and crispy. Mm. Which is nice, like it doesn't just taste like um I don't know. Mm. Okay, I'll give it a nine as well. Mm. I'll give that a seven. Mm. Oh, it's nice. vacuum cooked, real cauliflower. Mm. Actually, yeah, it is really nice. Mm -hmm. But this one I know is going to be better. Oh, wow, they're really colourful. These are like a puff, they're not like in the shape of cauliflower. Mm. They, they remind me of a, like a twisty kind of, don't you reckon? Mm. That's delicious. Mm. The flavor's a bit, ooh, a bit different, but then you get used to it and you're like, okay, yeah. Mm. It's, it's a bit weird, but it's nice. What's weird about it? In the flavors. I like the texture of that one better, so I'll give this an eight. Oh my gosh, you like the <coughs> texture of that better? Yeah, the crunchy um, cauliflower. I like, I like how this is like um, fluffy. I said it was delicious, which is an eight. But I'm giving it a nine. Okay, I'm gonna give it an eight. Mm. So that is the cauliflower puffs chili lime. Well, there's only two left. What you want to just go for? Yeah, yeah. Okay. This one is rosemary and thyme crisps. Okay. Oh, there's still three. Gosh, there's so many. This one is literally just potatoes, sea salt, rosemary, and thyme. So this is just like good old potato crisps. Mm. The rosemary and thyme mm. is the herbs are really good. I just remembered I was gonna make mm. nine chef's kiss. The herbs are really good in mm. this. Gosh, this is a nine for sure. Mm. Or maybe a ten. I, mean, I might give it a ten just because I haven't given it a ten yet. <laughs> That's not a good reason to give something a ten. Oh, we better hurry up before Dad comes home because he'll eat it all. Dad will literally eat it all. I got too many crisps, chips. Oops. Anyway. Hi, it's editing Emmy because I'm just here to add. I thought while I was editing this that I should add this because I was just editing it and I was like, damn, May like in the past and like recently and in the last couple of years would never have like touched 
a chip, even like a veggie chip. So I'm just here to say like, if that's you, sorry, my computer just froze. If that's you, if you're in that place where you're like very food focused and like afraid to like have a bite of like a veggie chip, a sweet potato chip, nothing's going to happen. It's completely fine. It doesn't make you unhealthy. You're not going to get fat all of a sudden. Your abs aren't going to disappear. It's it's just it's just food. Like food is fuel. You need energy for the body. Your body doesn't really know where it comes from. Obviously be healthy like 90% of the time. But if you have like a chip, nothing is going to happen. So yeah, I just came to add that because I was I was like yeah. Anyway, um sorry about the really laggy footage. Do you know what? One of the reasons I got the chips up was because it was like you didn't have to buy it in bulk. Whereas like protein bars, you can't just buy a single protein mm -hmm. bar. You had to buy like a box. Mm. This is the same brand, but it's vegetable. It's called Garden Medley. And it's like seasonal variety is Kumara, carrot, beetroot, and parsnip, and sea salt. Kumara so like, is sweet potato. Ah, I never heard that before. It's kiwi. Oh, New Zealand. Oh, different colours. Yeah, but it's like mm. nice. different vegetables dried up in a chip. What do you reckon this one is? Beetroot or parsnip? I reckon it's beetroot. Maybe beetroot because it's parsnip would be white on. And this is a sweet potato. Mm. Do you want more? Mm, it's really sweet, the sweet potato. Yeah. It tastes the vegetable. Well, even, the, even that stripy one is quite sweet. Yeah, it was way sweet. Oh, well, look, the pictures are on the front. This mm. totally has to be the beetroot, right? Mm. I like it, but not as much as the um, rosemary mm. one. Oh, yeah, no. I'll give that a seven. Seven. And this one is one serving this packet. Oh. Yeah. So it's that's quite a than, decent size. Yeah. The last mm. chip thing that we've come to is broccoli chips. Broccoli chips, as mum has brought me up to say. But I always catch myself and be careful. <laughs> okay, so the camera stopped filming, but we were in the middle of trying the broccoli chips. And I, what did I give this? I gave this, this an 8 out of 10. Mm -hmm. It basically looks like broccoli, little trees. It focused, so broccoli. That was a really good crunch. Mm. Nice. I stand by my 8 out of 10. Mm. Me too. 8. I'm going to try this as a meal sometime. So it's like a mac and cheese, vegan, plant-based pasta meal. The ingredients are gluten-free pasta, nutritional yeast, coconut milk, tapioca, salt, carrot juice, powder, chickpea miso, garlic, rice bran, extract, and turmeric. That's the ingredients. I'll have it within the next week. Let's see what this is like. I haven't had mac and cheese in God knows how long since like primary school. But in saying that, was never like, it was never really a thing we had at home. But that's the before. So you literally just pour in half a cup of water. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Another half cup of water. And then add the content. Oh, it's like nutritional yeast vibes. I'm pretty sure it basically is just like nutritional yeast. Bro. So it says place the lid on and leave for like five to eight minutes to finish cooking. All right, moment of truth. Strong. I shouldn't have put in that entire packet. Was I meant to do that? Look, it's not bad, but it's not like I'm not personally a fan. But in saying that, I'm not like a cheese person. Like I've never been like a mac and cheese person. I feel like someone who is really into like vegan versions of like non-vegan things like mac and cheese would like it. But like a regular mac and cheese person wouldn't like it. <laughs> no, I'm not a fan. I'm not gonna lie. I'll eat it, so I'm not gonna waste food. But 
knowing what it tastes like, I wouldn't eat it again. Okay, look at my rating list. It's a two. Meh. It's a two. Two out of ten. Sorry, plant to seafoods. I'm going to add this spice mix that I've been obsessed with that I got at the Easter show at this store. Oh, do you know what? I think if I add this, it's going to make this from a two to like a... Get the spices in. Okay, whoa. Mate. I'm obsessed with the spice mix. This makes everything so good. I'm going to douse this in the spice mix. I just added some spinach cauliflower that we had baked in the fridge and peas and then heaps of that spice mix mm, I think like now as I look back on a lot of the things I put in my cart and then didn't end up getting there's a lot of things better decisions I would make if I was to do a big haul from goodness me box again so many really good protein bars I oh and nuts and oh yeah anyway I finished it and it was one of those things that <laughs> You know when you eat something and you kind of like grow into it? It was the opposite. I kind of just was like, oh, as I ate it, not a fan. So I couldn't finish on eating that. So I'm eating some of the cauliflower puffs, chips and broccoli chips that came in the box. And I just had to come back to say like, they're so good. Just also because I was like hating on that. And I needed to balance it out with something that I really like because I like more things than I don't. Eating these, really good. But the cauliflower puffs... Please go and get yourself a box of that, like especially in that flavor. It was really good. And these, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Okay, that's all. I also have these two other meals, which I'll try. These have come in goodness me boxes. I just got back from work, hence the fugly jacket. Um, and I'm going to try one of these for lunch. So I'm going to try the yellow lentil dal curry and this was something that came in a goodness me box not something i ordered pour contents into a microwavable container and then microwave for two to three minutes oh, it smells really good damn girl damn whoa this looks really good oh this mm, this is gonna be it okay it looks a little bit slack slop but I'm here for it. I have a good feeling about this. These also just stay in the cupboard. So this has been sitting in the cupboard for months and it doesn't go out a date until 2022 20, in September. So it's vegan, dairy free, obviously gluten free, no artificial colors or flavors, and it has a source of protein or fiber, non-GMO. So this is one serve, this um, pouch, and it has 10 grams of protein. So it's not super high, but it's better than that mac and cheese. <laughs> Me just eating a Brussels sprout while it cooks. Okay. That's why I said to cover it. <laughs> okay, I just spent way too long taking a Instagram picture for this. But I'm really keen to try it. It smells freaking delicious. I don't know if this is giving it justice. It kind of looks pretty, honestly. Okay. It smells amazing. That is so good. What the heck? Mm. I am here for this. I'm going to add some spinach into it so it like wilts the spinach because I love doing that into soups. So this is the heart and soul like pouch and they have so many different types of these, which this is the first one I've tried, but I have others in the cupboard that I am yet to try. I think I'm going to give this... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this an 8. I think it deserves an eight, a yes from me. So this I have tried before because it came in a goodness me box and I loved it. This is before you speak coffee, but this is decaf coffee and it's a mocha flavor infused with magnesium, zinc, turmeric, valerian root and ashwagandha. Ashwagandha. <laughs> Whatever that is. It has like some superfood stuff in it. Magnesium, cocoa, stevia, camu camu, zinc, and there's no sugar. We'll see what you think. Oh, so it slides out with a little drool. Yeah. And then there's little sachets. Doesn't that smell 
so nice. Mm -hmm. And then add this to it. Don't worry, I'm gonna drink this at the end. <laughs> You're too hot. But it tastes yuck. <laughs> um, Next, I give this a. And we have broccoli chip to get the taste. <laughs> Burning. Mm. It's hot. Oh, it burns my chest. Okay. You're a hater, and I give it an A. I'll finish that after. Do you know what? The only reason I got this is because I love all the other versions I have of this. Like you know how I have that hot cacao mm. and then the mint cacao so i thought i should get this because they i've enjoyed all the other ones so this one's a spicy ginger latte and the ingredients are ginger cinnamon nutmeg black pepper cardamom cloves coconut milk powder and stevia mm, half a teaspoon of powder to a cup oh so i guess we'll just put even, even less in that yeah and just water. add a dash of water mm. oh that smells really good mm. and then i'll add a little bit of the milk That's not bad. Yeah. It's, it's, better, hot. it's better than the other one. No, it's not too hot. It tastes like um, a tea I've had from T2 before. Mm. That's really nice. The ginger's subtle. It's not like ginger. Yeah. I'd probably give it a... Um, I'm going to give it a, a seven. A seven. That's mm. nice. It's really nice. Yep. While we're on the drinks, I'm so excited for these protein powders. So with the protein powders, I'm going to try both of them in an actual smoothie throughout the week, like before training or something. And I always have a smoothie with a frozen banana, almond milk and water and ice. But I also want to try it just mixed with water because that's like a true test of if a protein powder is good. In saying that, just a warning, mum's not going to like protein powder just mixed with water. Like you're not, but... I'm not going to try it. Okay, fine. I was going to say, you're going to try it anyway, but uh, no. No, fine. <laughs> the first one I got was wild strawberry. Which I just was so interested in a powder that wasn't like vanilla, chocolate, or peanut butter. So I've never come across a nice strawberry protein. Both of these are vegan protein powders. Premium European pea protein. Nine essential amino acids. Vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, lectin-free, non-GMO. Then the other one I got is coffee coconut plus MCTs. Which they had a coffee flavor that was out of stock. So I got this one instead because it was like close enough. My hand can't grip this. It's very big. This is why I could never do discus. Oh, it smells like, smells a little bit like the medicine sure. we had. <laughs> a little bit. Let's just see how this is. Whoa, that's a lot. I don't know, it has like a funny, it tastes slightly like dirt, slightly like strawberry, but slightly more like dirt than strawberry. I'm not tasting it. Okay, next. Okay, apologies that I don't look alive. <laughs> I worked out that this is the 20th day that I've worked consecutively. Plus I've had full-time uni and so many assignments over the last week. I, I lost it the last week. Okay, I'm gonna try one of the protein shakes, but as a protein smoothie, as I said, like I need to give it, give it a chance and give it a fair go. So that's what I'm gonna do. Views. I'm sorry, but that's a no from me. 
It still has that taste of dirt. No, I don't even know, but I'm gonna give that a two. It's yuck. I'm sorry. Sorry, new zest. Let's hope the coconut one is better. This is another one that I'll have to insert a video trying. These are sugar-free Z's. Sugar-free freezies, sugar freezies, all natural icy sticks in sour flavors. There's five fruity sour flavors. And this has 15 sticks. And there was like, it was really cheap for how many sticks are in it. So I've actually tried these in the Goodness Day boxes before. And it was delicious. I tried the apple and it's like Zuka Dupas, but there's no sugar in it. It's made from like flavors and sweeteners. That sounds like really artificial, but whatever. Sour apple, watermelon, which I'm very keen to try. Sour watermelon? Yeah. Strawberry, lemon. They're all like Avengers themed, so the lemon is Black Widow. Mm, for whatever like reason. That. Yeah. So the ingredients is water, sweetener, which is like stevia, and natural flavor, natural color. And it's just no calories. There's like 10 calories. So it's more just like a healthy option of a, instead of an ice block. Obviously, they're not really like healthy because it's just like artificial stuff, but oh well. <laughs> I'll insert that. Um, sometime. <laughs> I'm gonna try the sour watermelon freezy. So, the ingredients are water, sweetener, acidity regulator, natural flavor, natural color, radish juice extract, and purple carrot juice. And there is 10 calories in this ice block. So I have tried the apple, sour apple and sour strawberry, and they were both really good. The sour apple was tasted like apple juice, which is nice. Damn. It's really good. It's just like a watermelon lolly. I know, I haven't had a lolly since primary school, but that's what it tastes like, so. <laughs> okay, that's good. Did you hear that? That was my cat sneezing. What the hell? Based on this and the other two ice of freezies I've had, I'm gonna give them, I'm gonna give them an eight. Mm. I'm gonna give it, I'm giving them an eight. Okay, we've got two things left to try together. Macro Mike clean cookie. It's like a protein cookie. So there's 16 grams of protein in a cookie, which is a lot. Like, do you know how many grams of protein are in an egg? Six. So this is like close to three eggs of protein. This is maple chocolate chip flavor from Macro Mike, and it has mum's favorite ingredient in it. Yes, we both like get annoyed at this being a health food because it's not actually like that great. Do you want some nut? No, no, no. Like chopped cacao. Uh -uh. Oh, that's what, is it? what is that thing that everyone's like, oh, healthy, healthy, healthy version of the fat? And it's like, oh. Oh, coconut oil. Yeah. <laughs> it's not It's not high in it. It's not the main ingredient. Ooh, that's and pretty nice. Are you kidding? It does. It's got chopped chips in it. Anyway, I was just going to break a little chunk off. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I'm a fan. I know you wouldn't like this, but I love protein bar type of things. All right. Do you know what? So much better microwaved or protein bars. Mm. So much better microwaved. Mm. Mm. I'll give it a four. Mm. I'll give it a. I'll give it an eight. I like it. What's left? Googie protein mm. bars. Which, if you guys have been following me for ages, you know that I've loved these for ages. But. I got the coffee cocoa flavor because I only recently started liking coffee, so I've never actually had or enjoyed the coffee one. So I thought I'd try it now that I eat coffee. I'm a coffee girl. Yeah, mum, mum's a yeah. I'm waiting for my coffee. All it has, all I love these bars because they have minimal ingredients and it's all healthy and it's protein. So there's just six ingredients. This one has dates, free range egg white, almonds, cashews, cocoa, and coffee. Um, and there's 12.7 grams of protein per bar. I will add, with all the Googie's bars, I love, love them microwaved so much more. 
and if mum wasn't like hurrying me up i'd go and microwave it i only microwave it for like 15 seconds but even 15 seconds mum's just gonna get mad at me so yeah oh it's so much better microwave though mum mm. It tastes like coffee ground. <laughs> Three. Oh wow, that's bad. Mm. I'm gonna microwave it and try it. I love the other bars I have. Okay. So they're co cocoa, chalk sea salt, blueberry, and apple cinnamon. I love them, and I think I'll love this. Before you go, mm, I need a drink now. Mm. What was your favorite? Um, all the savory stuff. I, I think the cauliflower and the broccoli chips. The florid mm. ones. Mm. Mm. So far. See you peeps. Subscribe. Like, subscribe. Thanks. Get a code. <laughs> Buy some. Of the savory ones, they were really good. Okay. Oh yeah, the rosemary and the rosemary. Yeah, yeah, salad. the rosemary chips. Do you one. know what? I love the the salt and vinegar almonds. I think that might be my favorite. Mm. No, that wasn't my favorite. I know it wasn't your favorite. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna microwave a chunk of this and then try it. Okay, I literally just microwaved it. I literally just mic blah, 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 blah. I microwaved a chunk for 20 seconds. When you microwave it, <laughs> I was really hoping mum would be wrong, but it literally just tastes like ground coffee beans. And I love all the Googie's protein bars, and I freaking wish I got one of the ones that I liked or another protein bar to try. Mmm. Like it's not, I was going to say it's not bad, but it is. Like, look, not bad, but it's not good. I'm just checking the ratings. I gave it a three because it's definitely below average. And then I proceeded to say, sorry, Googies. I literally love all of your products except the coffee cocoa. Last thing, New Zest, New Zest, I don't know how to pronounce it, but the other protein powder. Oh, the coconut is really strong. Can't taste the coffee at all, but it just tastes like coconut. I'm not going to rate both proteins until I try them both in a smoothie though. Okay, so as a pre-training snack today, I'm going to be having a protein smoothie. A smoothie with trying out the coffee coconut new zest clean lean protein um sorry if i look like a little bit of a trying to be a gangster with this hat on but my hair was disgusting also i was just thinking while i was grabbing out some frozen bananas i'm genuinely being like fully honest with this so like i love goodness me box and i've loved so many things that come that i've gotten in my goodness me box but obviously like i'm not gonna love everything and neither is someone else so sorry if i'm being a hater for some things but Everybody's taste buds are so different. So I'm sure some people absolutely love this protein and you know, some people don't Okay, I'm going to do the same as the strawberry one. I'm adding in some frozen banana and ice Chuck in two scoops of this There were so many things that I wanted to get. I should have only got one of these proteins. That was so dumb of me. I could have got a whole box of protein bars, a whole bag of macro mic protein. I'm just not a fan of this. It just has this really intense aftertaste, not even aftertaste, like taste, where it tastes more like, it tastes like a mix of curry powder and dirt. I think it's the pea protein. Like it just tastes like peas. Yeah, it tastes like vegetables. God damn it! I actually ordered um, the almond mic, almond almond mic, the macro mic almond protein, because I've only ever had their pea protein. So I ordered the sample pack of the almond protein, but they were out of stock. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add another scoop of protein to this 
so it's edible. <laughs> No, that is not edible because I can skull. This is a protein powder I've been loving lately, the Macro Mike Hawaiian Salted Vanilla. And I mix it into my oats and it makes it like cake batter delicious. Um, you can also get all of the Macro Mike protein on the Goodness Me Box website. So definitely rate this, which is from Goodness Me Box, over this that I got in my haul, unfortunately. But each to their own. So... I love the Macro Mac protein. It's pea protein like this and brown roast protein, but um, more delicious. <laughs> so I'm going to add a scoop of this um, so that this is yummy. <laughs> I love the smell of the strawberry one. I'm just going to try a little bit of dry protein powder. Hmm. <laughs> it was really hard to drink it out of the spoon. So that was so ugly. <laughs> Sorry, I just laughed at myself because I was thinking about all the comments of people being like, it upsets me so much when you say you look ugly. Like, <laughs> when you have like five hours sleep and you look in the mirror and you're like, damn, I look ugly. It's not that you're like hating on yourself. It's just that you're like... <laughs> So what is the date? It's a few days before June. How the heck is it the sixth month of the year already? Oh my gosh. It's a nut milk, but it's oats, roasted hazelnuts, roasted almonds, roasted cashews. So it's almost June. So I get my goodness me box a couple of days before the first of the month. Oh my God, you're kidding me. You're actually joking. So it comes with this little thing with what's in it. Look what's in it. The rosemary and thyme oh. crisps. That means I didn't need to order them. What else do we have? There's another one of these, which is Thai style chicken pho soup. Munch me. I like the munch meats. I've, I've had all the different munch meats that have come in this before. So I'll definitely be giving you some of this stuff, Mum. Yeah, I've, I've used this before. It's like yeah. a curry paste. Yeah. 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 Superfood Tasty Balls. I do like the brand Tasty. I rate them. Quinoa and cacao raspberry flavor. Magnesium bath salts, which I 1 billion percent will be using. Olive leaf extract throat spray, I am totally not going to be using. That's so random. Do you know what? I probably will use it, honestly. And the last thing is strawberry peach live sparkling probiotic drink. I usually give dad all of the drinks that come because it's usually kombucha and I hate kombucha. I've tried to like kombucha, but it sounds kind of nice. I'm going to try it. And I've liked some of the drinks I have. I do enjoy it. Like there's been like a sugar-free iced tea. And this is Nexpa. And I've liked some of the Nexpa stuff. So that was all of the Goodness Me Box haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Shout out to my mother for joining me. And massive shout out to Goodness Me Box for sending me all of these amazing superfood goodies. So on the website, they have, as I said, thousands of different like health food products. They even have beauty products and stuff like lip balms and stuff like that. Definitely check them out. Use that discount code before it expires. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, consider subscribing to my channel, and I hope to see you in the next video.